hello creative people my name is david and i welcome you all to my channel this is what i have for you today this is actually uh, a 12 volt mini air conditioner built from scratch by me and in today's video i will show you how to make one so i'll make use of this 12 volt battery to power the system And I have two switches here. This first switch is actually for the coolant, which is uh, the uh, Petia module. And this other one is for the fan here. And you can see the ambient temperature is presently at uh, 28.7. So if I put on the switch now, if I put on the Petia module, we see the footage, uh, the temperature begin to drop. So the uh, components used in making this particular uh, air condition can also be used to make a mini fridge. So um, I urge you to subscribe to my channel because uh, very soon I will also post a video on how to make uh, that mini fridge. And, and this uh, system can actually go down to as low as um, uh, 10 degrees Celsius. Now I can put on the fan. And I can assure you the breeze is very, very cold. So far so good the cooling temperature of this uh, mini ac is around 23 degrees celsius to uh, 24 degree celsius which is very much lower to compare with the present ambient temperature which is uh, about 29 degrees celsius Okay guys, um, before I proceed into uh, mounting this CPU uh, cooler to this uh, box, so I want to show how this uh, better module works. The, uh, the side with letters on it is the cold side, Why the side without any letters on it is the hot side. So, and this is a digital thermometer and presently the time is a uh, few minutes past 10 in the morning and the ambient temperature is just 28 uh, degrees centigrade Celsius. So, I will power this uh, better module and we will check the temperature. Now uh, this is the uh, sensor of the of the thermometer. I hope you can see how the temperature is dropping from twenty eight degrees centigrade now to eleven degrees C, nine degrees centigrade, then six point five degree. 
even down to 3 degree now presently at 0 degree minus Now this is how the old system will look like before I finally fix it to this box. Uh, actually, I will cut out this uh, uh, marked uh, area to allow the uh, petia module and the this uh, smaller heat sink to enter in into the uh, box. And with these holes, I will bolt down this uh, CPU cooler. As for uh, screws, now let me let me power it again. Now this this smaller fan up here is working as well, and this heat sink now is getting cold. I see the, the uh, temperature is going down again and and this place is very cold now very very cold very very cold so I will fix everything behind the camera and uh, I, will, I will explain everything I did Alright guys, um, our portable air conditioner is um, taking shape gradually. Now, I've cut out the slot for the fan. This is the fan. So, I will install it from, from inside. From inside. And um, this is the vent. This is the vent. Then, uh, this, this side is actually for uh air intake yes this side and this side and this side is for the uh, petia module so this is the back side this is the front side so now i want to fix this uh, uh, plastic on this side and the other side i actually cut it out from from this uh plastic plates so I will glue everything together with uh, this super glue and after then I will use a spray paint to, to beautify the uh, box before installing all the components Actually, painting this top is not uh, compulsory, but uh, I just want to beautify this uh, box and make it look at least professional. So, if you, if you make your own box, you can actually decide to either uh, paint it or not, it depends on you. Now that this uh, box has been painted and well furnished, it's high time for me to couple this uh, system all together. 
so i've already fixed the petia module to this um heat sink this uh is actually a cpu cooler so i fix it with this uh four minute gum i just apply the gum to the side That's the uh, thermometer. So I'm going to use two switch. This is the second one. So I will fix the better module to the back here yeah, with these uh, screws. I believe you can see the inside of the system now. Now this uh, heat sink and uh, small fan is going to stay on this uh, petrol module because this petrol module will get uh, very chilled and uh, this heat sink will become very 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 cold. And this smaller fan will extract will be extracting the cold air and blow continue to blow it to the bigger fan. Then the bigger fan will blow out the air to whosoever that is using the uh, mini AC presently fixing the, um, the bigger fan Okay, guys. Before we fix our this smaller uh, heat sink and fan to this um, better module here, let's do a little testing just to be sure that uh, all our components are okay and working perfectly. This is the cable for the uh, bigger fan here. Let's just um, do some testing. working perfectly now we have to test this one too okay this is the cable so let me just put it on the battery and see um, it's working too so um this is the petrol module this white uh, material so this heat sink is going to stay on it directly on it and uh, i will glue it there with the head of uh, this uh, four minute gum So I'm going to glue the heat sink. I'm gluing the uh, using the uh, forming gum to glue the heat sink to this plastic. So I will put the gum at this side and at the other side. Actually, this back side I will still close it. I will, I will still close it. 
this paint is for ear intake and uh, this paint I will, I will cover it with this uh, black materials both the first and the second side to to stop the dust from entering the box okay to do my connection uh, since I'm using two switch this bigger switch is uh, it's actually for the petia module and this is the cable for the petia module and the uh, cooling fan at the back of this system for for dissipating the heat from the petia mode and this other cable here this is the positive of this fan here and the positive of the small fan here this smaller fan so let's let's do this soldering So, the other leg of the switch will go to the positive of the battery. And uh, this one is, is all the negative. All the negative of the whole component joined together. This will go to the negative of the battery via this black wire. So, I will make use of this uh, red and black wire for my negative and positive. So it can go through this hole here. So I have my positive and negative cable. The negative will be connected to all the negative of the component this is the negative it will be connected to it here just like i said one uh one switch is for the better module and the other one is for fun so you just want to separate the two now the co the connection is almost completed the last thing we can put is um, indicator LED indicator which will indicate that uh, the system is on or off. So these two blue cables will now go to the positive, the positive of the battery. And the positive of the battery I'm going to use this this cable for the positive of my battery this is the two wires at the end at the back of the at the back of the box that we go to the battery
so for the indicator it's actually very simple just uh puts between 330 ohms and 1.5k resistor to the positive leg of each of the resistors to be used then i've made two holes here one for the first switch which is for the fan here and the other one is for the petrol mode so you just fix it Like this. this is the first one. And this is the second one. And to do that is very simple. So this this these are the wires from the positive leg of the resistors. Well of the LEDs after putting resistor there. So I will just connect each of them to 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 the switch. So as for the um, the LED indicator, this is what I did. See this 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 connection is the negative of the two LEDs, which uh, I've connected it to this uh, the whole negative of the uh, all the components. Then the positive, the first positive here is connected to a resistor. You can see the one K resistor, and I solder it to this switch over here. Yes, which is also the, the the switch is also connected to the fans. Then the other resistor here, this is the, the other the other LED, which is the orange LED, is connected to this blue wire. And then this is the blue wire. It's connected to the second switch here, which is connected to the petrol module. So the connection is completed and the system is now working. So now if I put on my this smaller smaller switch is controlling the fan here this bigger switch is controlling the petrol module so now the petrol module is working you can, you can see the, the fan the cooling system here is working this is the cable to the battery and the other one and this is the other one which is the, which is the bigger fan it's working and then the last thing i will now do sensor of the thermometer I have to attach it to this heat sink here because this heat sink will become very very cold and once this uh, sensor is there the uh, thermometer will begin to count down 